Hey guys, welcome back. Man, it's been almost a, a full week since I've seen you, but school has been nuts lately, and I'm um, just finally getting a day off of that to go to the farm all day. So, before we get there, we got to run my dog to the groomer. You guys haven't met him yet, so uh, we'll get him out of his pen real quick, run him out to Mosquito. Tiller! Come on, let's go for a ride. Come on, let's go for a ride. Other side. Sit, sit, stay, stay. Ah, good boy. Going for a ride is about the only thing that gets him excited, really. He doesn't really even get excited for treats. We gotta grab this leash here. Um, yeah. He's crazy. We'll run him into town and we'll get to the farm. Okay, back here at the farm. I got my breakfast here. Actually, I stopped at Casey's and got a piece of pizza because I was in town and how can you not? So let's go see what Jake's doing. What's the plan? You come up here? Yeah. All right, so Jake's got me working on this diaphragm, but he's all concerned about how he doesn't get enough <clears throat> enough video time. So here he is. <laughs> all right, see here? Got a pretty good crack there. We're gonna replace that end. Put these back, put these hoses back in the new one, and we'll be ready to go. <clears throat> so we got all this hooked up. It's loose right now. <clears throat> this hose has got a cut in it. So we're gonna see if we can't cut it behind there and then put this end back on wherever it went. Alright, we're going to make a parts run. I need to get a longer hose. I need to get two clamps and then a gasket for a 4020 oil cooler. So we're going to hop in this tractor, take it out to the dealership and get some parts. Okay, got her up here. We'll go see what Grandpa's doing. I'm sure he's in his office. And we better get these parts before Jake gets here to pick me up or otherwise he'll be crappy. So let's go see Grandpa. What do you got going on here? Oh, cut a whole bottle over Yeah, please. Okay, the sprayer project is officially done. I'd say we could we could head out to the field anytime with that now. It's it's ready to go. Unless there's leaks or something, but we should be good now. So next step, we're gonna get the 95, ooh, what is it, 60R? Uh, and get that hooked up to the applicator and get that ready to go. So let's do that. Okay, scratch that. It looks like Jake's already got it hooked up to the 9530. So I'm going to fold this up and we'll get it to the other side of the shed and do some work to it. Not really sure what it all needs yet, but Jake knows. So, oh yeah, and Jake rearranged the shed and we got a lot more room up front now and look at this. We got the ST470 in the back. You can just barely see it back there. And then the 450, the Ford FW30, the Big Bud HN250, and then the Versatile 1150 Cummins, or not Cummins. It does have comments, but 1150 custom. And 8960, 9530, 
And back behind that is the 8970. Let me zoom in on that. 8970 back there. And then this 9530. So, oh yeah, and this one. You can't, can't leave this one out. The 5020. Hmm. Pretty sweet. Okay, let's get this one out and we'll get to work. We're struggling to get a fuel line on. It's always good to cross your feet. Is there a reason you do that, Jake? What's that? Cross your feet? Yeah. Is it a balanced thing or is no, it a... we're not struggling at all. We're doing work. We had some guy just like stop in and he didn't, he didn't try and say hi or anything. He just kind of drove around like he... That was so weird. He drove around all the driveways. Not really acting like he was looking for anybody. Didn't roll out his window at all. Just kind of just drove around. That was very strange. Anyway, got a call from the groomer. I got to run and grab my dog. We'll see uh, see how girly they made him look. That's usually what happens. So we got him picked up. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. There he is. Hi, bud. How's it going? How's it going, huh? Okay. Let's get back to the farm. Come on, buddy. Good boy. Let's see if Jake has anything to say about that. I'm not sure how he's going to react. So generally, everything goes good until it doesn't go good. Um, I'd say that bucket's pretty much junked out. And I got a mess to clean up. Okay guys, we're gonna call it a day. Uh, Jake and I got the sprayer ready to go. 95.30 is serviced except for some grease in the hinges. And what else? Mm, his 4020 is running. If you guys saw that video a while back, that's Harry Eastman's tractor. He got that running. We had the tank cleaned on it, the radiator fixed, and he took the canopy off it too. So that's done, and we're going to call it a day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.